Welcome back to the Thermodat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Miller, and I'm here with the man himself. If you've been in the Facebook groups, you know exactly who this man is, Mr. Jake Miner. How are you doing this morning, Jake? Good, Jaden. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here, man. Heck yeah, definitely. So if you don't mind, for the listeners who don't know your story, do you mind kind of uh, laying that out for us? Yeah, um, I guess my health journey uh, started maybe four and a half uh, years ago. Um, I was that guy that was always doing six days uh, in the gym, basically getting no uh, results, uh, eating all the wrong foods, um, doing fish oils, uh, peanut butters all the time, uh, and basically getting uh, nowhere, no results. So one day I tried uh, a synthetic testosterone stack uh, from Complete Nutrition. And uh, it was a four week cycle and I did the cycle and I had, you know, somewhat results. So maybe about uh, three, four months later, I tried another uh, four week synthetic testosterone stack. Um, I had uh, similar results the first time, got a little bigger, uh, felt a little better about it, uh, but it was more of a vanity thing. I just wanted to get ripped and bigger like uh, everyone else wants to. So then uh, maybe six months down the road, they came out with a eight week cycle. So when I did the eight week cycle, um, by the end of the cycle, uh, maybe seventh week, it completely downregulated my natural testosterone production. And at that time I had no idea what your natural testosterone production was. I didn't know it could downregulate. I knew nothing about uh, feedback loops or anything like that at this point. So then uh, the only thing I could think of doing was um, getting on Uh, close Facebook groups uh, where people were using anabolic steroids just to get some kind of advice because I had uh, nowhere to turn, no one to ask. Um, And I didn't have uh, very much progress or any good advice in a group like that. Uh, So then I ended up going to my doctor uh, and he didn't have very uh, good advice at all either. So where was I at? So this went on for uh, maybe eight to 10 months. of this estrogen dominant state due to uh, downregulating my natural testosterone production. Um, And I had no one to turn to. I didn't know what to do, where to go. Uh, The people on the sites uh, were telling me uh, the wrong advice. Uh, Just get back on uh, the real juice, try this, try that. And I just knew that it wasn't good advice. So at the eight, uh, 10 month uh, mark, I started getting uh, weird lumps in my chest. And at the time, I had no idea what it was. Um, the doctor basically told me just to get it cut out. It could be a form of uh, gynomastia. This, the people on the uh, steroid sites uh, were basically telling me the same thing. Along with uh, the lumps in my chest, I also had completely shrunken uh, testicles. I had uh, no libido whatsoever. I couldn't sleep maybe... 35, 40 minutes at a time, I got up to pee constantly during the night. And finally, one day I found a Chris Walker video uh, talking about uh, how to grow bigger balls. Um, And then from that point on, basically, uh, after watching Chris's video, uh, I tried some of the things he was talking about, and I was starting to feel better. So after a year of um, zero uh, positive advice uh, or zero results of everything I was trying, I tried a couple of things that Chris was talking about uh, and things started to get a little better for me. Um, so at that point, I was completely hooked on Christopher Walker. I started watching um, all his videos on YouTube, um, the Road to Rip podcast. Uh, I read every article on anabolic men 50 times. And then I started incorporating things uh, that Chris <coughs> suggests doing uh, and they were working. So it was a huge stress relief in my life. Um, so at that point I got on the, uh, gynomastia stack, you know, I, through Chris's research and his videos, I found out that I had an estrogen dominant system, you know, and I had the lumps in my chest. So I'm thinking I have uh, gyno, there's way too much estrogen in my system. Uh, and Chris kind of paved the path for me to downregulate, uh, my estrogen and increase my natural testosterone production. So at that point, um, I did about three months of the gynomastia stack, uh, and I was feeling better, you know, the lumps were starting to go down. But in my personal life, um, with my daughter, 
uh, I had to actually go to court to fight in a huge custody battle. So basically I went from, you know, estrogen dominant, super stressed out to a court battle. And at that time uh, I was gay, engaged to my son's mother. So I went through the whole court thing, uh, ended up winning uh, custody of my daughter. But at the time, you know, the stress doesn't help when you're in a courtroom, you know, stressed out to the max. You're trying to get out of this estrogen dominant system. You're in this negative feedback loop that you're trying to, you know, slowly pull your way out of. And uh, court uh, with my daughter's mom really wasn't uh, helping at all. So um, at that point, when I was trying to, uh, I guess, restore my health through everything uh, Chris teaches, all his videos, books, everything he has, um, the relationship with my fiance um, didn't go where I was expecting it to. So after I won uh, custody of my daughter through with my her mom, I ended up going to court with um, my son's mother, and then the stress levels ramped up again, and it was crazy. So uh, some things I had to battle through with going through the court cases is taking out huge loans to pay for high-priced lawyers because when it comes to my children, you know they come first, and I had to win these uh, court cases. So as uh, months went on, I had to pick up a second job. So basically I worked 50 hours a week uh, for Amsoil, uh, oil company that I worked for in my hometown. And then another thing I was doing is bartending Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then on top of that, um, youth sports coaching at the Y. So I'm bartending until I'm working from seven to three in the afternoon. I'm bartending from six to three 30 in the morning. And then I'm getting up at eight o'clock for a youth basketball game at the YMCA. So trying to get um, your stress under control when you're battling, you know, estrogen dominance uh, because of some synthetic testosterone you did. Uh, eating all the wrong foods, seeds, grains, nuts, peanut butter, taking fish oils, uh, flaxseed, going from one court case, uh, one relationship falling through to another court case. Um, it was completely stressful. So after I did, um, I would say the three months of the gynomastia stack, I started uh, incorporating the lifting style that Chris talks about to get a uh, hormone response, neuromuscular training. So this is one thing I incorporated, uh, knowing I'm in an estrogen dominant state, doing the gynomastia stack. Um, and I started developing a little bit of muscle and the uh, lumps in my chest. At that time, I would say eight or nine lumps in my chest started slowly going away. Um, and then uh, Truth Nutra had a androgen receptor density stack. So I did the three months of the gynomastia stack, and then I did three months of the androgen receptor density stack. I started doing weighting dips. Um, I started incorporating the foods that Chris was talking about. Um, and at that point, it's probably been about a year since I found Chris. And I'm like, you know, after everything I've been through, I feel pretty good, you know, considering, you know, I wasn't sleeping, uh, everything I just talked about going through. And then Chris started coming out with videos about, uh, hey, I'm going to incorporate this uh, Thermal 30 diet. So then it's been about a year working with Chris. I love everything that he's doing. You know, I, I did the Thor program. Um, I loved everything Chris was about and I was slowly feeling better. You know, and if you're a person that uh, has no one to turn to, you know, and you're actually slowly feeling better, that's a uh, win in itself. So uh, Chris started coming out with the what is the Thermal 30 guidelines. And once, I would say maybe what, two and a half years ago, um, once that video came out, and I was following Chris, you know, I was basically an uh, expert on all his supplements. I was taking everything he, he uh, they sell at Truth Nutra at the time. I was taking all the products. I was having uh, great success. Um, soon as Thermal came out, or the Thermal 30 guideline video, I was already doing Thermal. So as soon as he came out the video, the next day I went to the store. I got all the foods he was talking about. I started drinking uh, clean water. And I would say about three weeks into uh, just following Chris's video, uh, the Thermal 30 video, <clears throat> I started feeling amazing. So for the first time in over a year, I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to feel unbelievable compared to how I felt, you know, in an estrogen dominant state, battling uh, court cases, not being able to afford uh, food on the table for my kids because I'm working two jobs, battling court cases, 
you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, so then once I started doing thermal for about uh, two months, I guess, before the thermal group came out, uh, I felt unbelievable. My energy was through the roof. I'm bouncing off the walls. Um, at that point, it's probably been, you know, over a year since I found Chris and the lumps in my chest uh, were completely gone. Um, the testicle size started restoring. My libido started kicking in when I started uh, the thermo diet and I kicked in a bunch of carbs into my diet. I felt unbelievable. <clears throat> and then I would say maybe three months after Chris came out with that video, um, he came out with the thermo diet group. Uh, and I was so excited. I'm thinking this guy has awesome, awesome supplements. Uh, he has a great uh, story that he talks about himself personally. He restored his health. Now here's here, here I am restoring my health and following uh, Chris's footsteps to the best of my ability. Um, <clears throat> so then the thermo diet came out. Uh, after about three, four months of thermo diet, diet community, Facebook community being uh, a thing, I hopped on there. And uh, at this point, you know, I'm already an expert on all the supplements. I'm an expert on what Chris teaches. I'm an expert on Thor training, uh, Road to Rip podcast, everything anabolic. Man, everything Chris talks about. So at this point, uh, people are on there asking questions and right away I'm, I'm answering them, you know. I'm answering, I'm answering, I mean, everybody's noticing it. So my presence was uh, absolutely felt at the group right away. And I loved it because, you know, one thing that uh, was really inspiring to me with Chris is I had no one to connect the dots or, you know, set me in the right direction. And everything that Chris teaches and preaches and lives, um, that is the right direction. And finally, you know, I felt I'm in a good place. You know, I, I had somebody that can connect the dots for me. So when I started on the thermo diet group, I'm thinking, you know what, how cool would it be to be that person that's connecting the dots uh, for people that were just like me. So I started doing a personal video calls with people on the thermo diet Facebook group, maybe six months into the group uh, being a thing. Uh, and I loved it. I love every second of being that person that can connect the dots uh, for people that were lost like I am. So if you're out there and uh, you're having problems with digestion, sleep, uh, libido, um, I definitely uh, was helping people uh, every day, weekly. I, there have been some times where I was doing 15 to 20 calls a week uh, with people all over the world. And <clears throat> how inspirational is it to do a call with somebody uh, from Iceland and then get off the phone and then all of a sudden you're doing a call with somebody from Australia and then you're calling uh, Europe, uh, the Czech Republic, People that can barely speak English, I'm a huge part of their life because I'm helping them heal their health. It's an unbelievable thing. Um, and then at that point, um, I really started uh, becoming pretty good friends with uh, Jaden Miller. And uh, one, you know, I, I really appreciate everything Jaden's done for me. A lot of you guys uh, don't know when uh, I started getting really into the thermo diet and I wanted to ramp up my health game. The person that uh, was really a big uh, influence, you know, besides Chris and a big part of ramping up my health game, my knowledge, uh, everything I do. Jaden Miller is a huge part of that. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. man. Definitely. That's well, awesome. I appreciate that. We're glad to have you in the group. Um, so whenever you talk about some of those initial benefits that you were experiencing, what are some of the things that come to mind? Yeah. So when I coming from where I came from and I first uh, hit the thermo diet, um, the first thing that I really experienced um, having a low libido, I had really low energy. Um, and then when I started incorporating the carbs, the foods, uh, the supplements, <clears throat> my energy took off. And then uh, I noticed a couple months after uh, my energy took off that my sleep got really good. And then after uh, my sleep got really good, after a couple months went on, uh, this turned into my uh, strength really increasing. So uh, my hormones were actually balancing at that time. Uh, and Chris talks a lot about, you know, uh, that negative feedback loop and slowly getting your way out of it. I was watching my body, you know, from my cells all the way to, you know, my uh, gains in the gym or my success in life um, from one end of the spectrum to another. So I guess my first 
the first thing I noticed was sleep, or excuse me, uh, energy, then my sleep, uh, and then my strength. And then after that all started coming into play, uh, my mindset really got on fire. So as you know, Chris talks about, you know, uh, like attracts like in the underlying law of bioenergetics, you know, I could just see myself growing, you know, from one end of, or going from one end of the spectrum uh, to the other. Heck yeah, that's awesome. So what do you think some of the top tips are that you would give somebody who's just now beginning the thermo diet journey? Somebody that's uh, starting out, um, I guess I would tell them, you know, uh, take it a one step at a time. Um, sometimes, you know, there's all these supplements and there's all these protocols uh, to incorporate. Uh, go with the biggest issue you have and incorporate things slowly, uh, one thing at a time. Um, sometimes people can get overwhelmed and just cramming a bunch of things at once. But I definitely uh, recommend getting on Christopher Walker's uh, YouTube and subscribing to that. Uh, get on the Thermo Diet. You know, definitely incorporate, you know, learn it, incorporate it, uh, memorize it, live it. Uh, another thing I recommend is getting on the Umzu uh, uh, YouTube. Subscribe to that too. It's free. Uh, Jaden does a lot of work on the supplements. Uh, also, the Thermo Diet podcast, uh, the Thermo Diet group. We also do have a Umzu uh, Facebook group. I would get on that too. Definitely. Heck yeah. Awesome. So uh, what are the, some of the things that you're doing right now to kind of stay in that thermo state? Uh, some things that I'm doing right now. Um, I've been on, I guess since the video came out, uh, what is the thermo guidelines? I've been about 90% uh, thermo since. Um, at first, when Chris came out with it, he talked about doing a thermo 30. And then in the video, he talks about, well, you, you might just want to keep doing it. You're going to like it so much. So. Once I started that uh, first, you know, 30 days of thermo, I never stopped. So uh, basically getting a good uh, foundation of your supplement routine um, and the foods you're eating. I eat such a nutrient dense uh, diet that I have zero cravings. You know, um, I eat when I'm hungry. Uh, some of the things I'm doing right now are uh, heavy resistance training. I love heavy resistance training. <coughs> um, I'm going on walks every day. I try to hit the 10,000 steps a day, which is awesome if you're out there and you're not getting movement in every day or you, uh, you can't make it to the gym, get outside, get your 10,000 steps in. Uh, another thing I really concentrated uh, this summer on that I haven't in the past is the amount of sunlight I'm getting. I'm spending, I would say 90 minutes uh, in direct sunlight a day. You know, I'm very fair skinned, but I have a very nice uh, tan going on right now. And then, uh, Another thing is I'm just staying consistent uh, with the lifestyle. I'm staying consistent with the supplementation. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for hopping on here. For all those who uh, haven't already, make sure to get into the Thermo Diet Facebook group. Uh, Jake's in there killing it on a consistent basis, so you can always get a hold of him. Um, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the podcast. Um, the YouTube channels there um, and feel free to reach out to either one of us. If you have any questions, talk to you next time.